So, smile two four nine underscore on Twitter asked me how the Bang Birthday Cake Bash tasted, and I've never had it before. Uh, and I'm not sponsored by any drink company. But uh, since they mentioned it, and I went to Walmart, I decided, you know what? I'll I'll pick one up. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna open it and take give, give it a test. I like the white vanilla frosting with the cheap sprinkles on top from like a pre-made store cake. It's pretty accurate. So it's it's finally here after waiting since I think March. It was like 1.13.4 or somewhere around there. Quest mods were just not updated after that. And they've been working on a ton of stuff since then. And today they finally announced a bunch of new stuff for 16, 16 1.16.4. Uh, we've got everything. Quite literally everything. So today I'm gonna go over basically the full side quest setup because there's a couple of different intricate things that you need to know about that. If you've already known all of those or done those things for some reason and don't know how to install BMBF, uh, you can skip to that timestamp. Haha, have fun post Logan with that one. That wasn't even a coherent sentence. What was I talking about? That didn't... If you already know how to use a uh, uh, side quest, why are you here? You can load an APK file. It's not that hard. You, you skip the whole video. I'm not gonna go find a timestamp for this. But if not, this will go over everything you need from start to finish of not having a modded quest to to getting to get, having uh, all the quest beat saber mods and custom songs you could ever want <coughs> so for this tutorial i'm going to be using three things i'm going to be using a usb c to usb a cable i'm going to be using my quest 2 and i'm going to be using my windows pc i believe SideQuest has support for mac i'm not going to go into that there's probably tutorials elsewhere that you can find for mac it's probably almost exactly the same but uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna. Step one, side quest. Uh, uh. So side quest, uh, sidequestvr.com. I'll put it in the description. Uh, you just go here, you press get side quest. And you download it for Windows. Oh, they have it for Windows, it's Mac and Linux, so. Nice. So you're gonna go ahead and download for Windows 10. Uh, side quest setup, pretty easy. You just open the installer and then you allow it to install the virus onto your computer and you're that's it, you're all good. Now, the weird part about this is you need a dev account to install stuff via an APK file. So you have to go to step two, which is create an organization. Go over to your dashboard on Oculus, log in, continue with your uh, whatever account you're using and this is going to have you create a uh, organization whatever you want to call that whatever your organization name is because you have an app development team and an organization that is creating an application to become a developer for oculus right next step you'll need these drivers from oculus you just go to the link here uh, it will take you to a download you download the drivers just just download them Un, un, unpackage them. So you see the, the window, the Android underscore win USB.inf file. You're going to want to right, right click on that and press install. And uh, that'll install the drivers. Next up, you're gonna need to enable developer mode on your headset. So this is going to be on your phone in the Oculus app. It will be an option for your quest too. You just go, you just go to the app you, you you go to your quest, you you click on the more settings, you hit developer mode, and you just turn it on. It's it's that simple. And then you'll need to reboot your headset for it to activate. And you're all good. Next step, connect the USB cable to the quest to. Uh, I should get some B-roll footage of this. Um, um B low uh, uh test testing one, two, three. Hello, hello. Maybe I shouldn't talk so loud if I'm if I'm you see, this is what happens when I take caffeine. So you're gonna grab your Quest 2, you're gonna slap it wherever is safe. You're gonna take your USB 
cable, plug it into your PC. Then you're gonna plug it into your headset. Is my headset on? Hello? You're gonna grab your controllers. Now, if you have a really short cable, this next spot is gonna be kind of annoying. So Oculus has this like safety protection thing where when you first plug it into your computer, it's going to pop up with this USB debugging window and you have to click allow. Uh, I would click always allow if you're not doing this at someone else's house or at a library for some reason, but uh, you have to put on the headset and then click it with the controller, which can be kind of annoying if you have a really short cable. Now we have the scary portion. You're gonna go to bmbf.dev. You go to the most stable, recent stable, the... You're going to go to stable releases and then download this APK file right here. You're going to go up to the install APK file from folder on computer. You're going to navigate to wherever you have that file, which is most likely in your downloads folder and double click on that. And then it will say starting app install. Uh, if you want to check on it, you can always click the running tasks and APK installed okay. Now you're going to get on your quest and do the quest things. Which I need to uninstall everything, reinstall Beat Saber, and then walk through the whole thing again, but record it on the quest so I can do all this. So I'm going to go grab that footage and then edit it all together. So from the headset, you're going to go to your library. Now, anything installed from an APK file is most likely going to show up under the unknown sources tab. So you're gonna wanna go there. So you're gonna hit BMBF. It will open up BMBF inside of Oculus TV, I believe. So since this is running through Apple TV, there is screen protection or some sort of like way that it blacks out anything that's showing Oculus TV when you're trying to either use screen copy or Oculus casting. So I can't show any of this normally. So I stuck my phone in the headset and took photos, which apparently the refresh rate cut off and there's a big line in the first one, but uh, it will welcome you to BMBF, give you some warnings. Obviously this is a mod, so you are modding. Uh, so be careful uh go ahead and just hit continue this will uninstall the original beat saber file which you just uninstall beat saber go ahead and press that it will ask you do you want to uninstall the following app and then you press ok it'll take you to step two which is the patch page you hit patch beat saber it will oh my gosh this one got completely cut off man i needed this page Anyway, there's a couple things that can happen here. So when you patch Beat Saber, it will most likely come up with a pop-up that says you need to allow unknown sources. So you'll have to go to your settings, which I think it will just allow you to do from there. It'll give you a little prompt, allow unknown sources, and then it will take you back and then you hit patch again, I believe. I hope I'm getting that right. I was going to just read off what they wrote, but you can't see half the screen and I would have to uninstall and reinstall mods to try and take this again. This will take the longest amount of time during the, the patching process, so just be patient with it. It's a mobile processor. You will probably run into this warning at some point. It will tell you that piracy, illicit modding, and cheating are not allowed. Do not hit restore, just hit close. Just close the window and you should be fine. This will take you to another pop-up that will say either done or open. Press done, do not open Beat Saber from here. It will cause issues. Then you will be on the Beat B B Sa B B Saber Beast Saber page. Now, before you install any mods, I would recommend just hitting Sync to Beat Saber and then testing the game just with the base core mods to make sure everything's working, and then come back to the Release Mods page and download all the mods you want. So now, when you get into the menu, it should show you your loaded songs. You have the notice board telling you whatever updates have been made. If you go to your settings, you'll have your different settings for whatever mods you installed. I installed cosmetics, so I've got different sabers, I've got different blocks, I've got different walls. And then in mod settings, you have song downloader, so you can go here, search for songs and download them, uh, which is really sick. And then if you go over to solo, you should have all your custom levels here. And there's a lot of them. So mods like Score Saber and Noodle Extensions have been announced for the quest, but they aren't out yet. So as soon as those are released, I'll make another video going into in-depth on how to link your Score Saber account and install Noodle Extensions. So if you want, if you want those, you gotta, you gotta hit the, you gotta hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and just, just wait, just wait for it. 
If there's any other questions about modding that you guys want answered or any specific mods you want help with installing, whether that's like custom sabers and how to find them or how to make playlists or anything like that, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to make more videos about this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm actually fairly new to quest modding. This is probably the second time I modded my quest ever, so I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, 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 oh,